Okay. I'm going to recall the meeting to order. Mrs. Krimp Mrs. Krimpaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Here. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Here. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you cheaters on here? I do, I do, I do. I actually have cats as cheaters. <clears throat> the vision and mission statement of the Austintown Schools. The Austintown Local School District is a united community with a proud legacy and a progressive approach to education. We provide an inspiring education that strengthens and prepares our students for unlimited future opportunities. Thanks, Mr. Porter. Number five, um, staff recognition. Good evening. Uh, can Mrs. Jacqueline Senich come up, please? Now, as she's coming up here, Mrs. Senich was considered a Hero Squad superstar. And she is with us now in the eighth grade, right? But at the time you were with second grade. No, eighth grade, always eighth grade. Always eighth grade? <laughs> okay. Uh, Mrs. Senich is uh, truly helping cancer. And this is presented to her with, by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And what she did was she raised over $4,500 to help patients. And we want to give her a big round of applause for that and recognize you. And we want to thank you for all you've done. Thank you so much. On to item number six. For building reports. Yeah. Starting with AES, Ms. Kathy Dorbish. <laughs> Good evening, board, parents, and community. I have some highlights from AES. Um, this year, we welcomed YSU to AES. Um, we right now have 10 YSU students doing preclinicals, and that's a total of 260 hours of field work they will do. We also have six tech students, and that's the course that they do right before student teaching. And we've welcomed five students who are coming in to do observations within our building at all areas from teaching to um, include specialists as well. I wanted to highlight my PTA. Um, they have purchased six additional picnic tables um, for a future outdoor learning lab they are putting together that we'll be able to utilize for our students and our staff. And finally, um, our Lighthouse teacher was awarded a $500 grant. Um, her name is Holly Fay, and she is going to use that for equipment in her classroom. So that's what we have for AES. From Austintown Intermediate, Angel Owens. Good evening. Uh, we've had a wonderful start to the year here at AIS. Uh, students have finished taking our annual diagnostic in September for iReady. Uh, students also started off the year with new recess zones and a new recess program, which has been absolutely wonderful to see. We've seen teachers out there playing kickball, jump roping, and it's been really awesome out on the playground. We've also done some new lunch procedures where students can earn points and get a cartoon lunch with their class. 
Uh, we also, for the very first time at AIS, hosted an orientation during the summer for families to come in and hear about the building, uh, get a quick tour, and also just make sure that they feel prepared with information to, for the start of the year. We also, for the first time ever, hosted two open houses. So we had third and fourth grade out on one night and fifth grade out on another where they got to meet all of their children's teachers, hear from those teachers about information pertinent to their classes, and then also be able to sign up for PTA and also spend some time with principals um, and get some real good information about the school as well. Uh, the only other thing that I have is I want to give a couple shout outs to some staff members and some people in the district. First, we hired three new teachers this year, Ms. Vlakeu, Ms. Copeland, and Ms. Del Garbino, who have all been wonderful additions to the building. So we're very glad to have them, and they've kind of just jumped right in and, and really fit in well with the staff. I also want to give a huge uh, kudos and shout out to Ms. Reppy, who's new to the building as well in a new role for PBIS. Uh, she was actually uh, recognized at our staff meeting today because the staff feels very supported and she's really filling a big role in terms of adding PBIS to the building and also helping with discipline. In addition to that, uh, we do want to thank our two PTA president and vice president, Ms. Feasel and Ms. Christina Williams. We've had a wonderful partnership and things have been going excellent this year and I really appreciate all that they have helped us pull off here at the beginning of the year. Uh, the building would like to recognize Mr. Boston. I know he's going to talk here shortly, but uh, we've had some needs this year in terms of gates, cones, signage, uh, just some different maintenance items with the buildings, and we have never had such professional, efficient response and help and support from that department before, and we really, really appreciate that. So I just want to give him a shout out. Also, I want to welcome Ms. Dorbish to the district. We're very glad to have you. Welcome aboard. And then last but not least, I'm super proud and just uh, looking forward to another successful year to be able to lead the building. So thank you. From the middle school, Mr. Del Torrio. Good evening, everyone. Uh, a couple highlights and updates from the middle school. First off, for this year, also like AIS, we had uh, first open house in a while. I understand they did it before, a while ago before I got there. But we did have an open house where students could come in, meet teachers, principals, get acclimated to the school. And we did allow students from all grade, grade levels to do that. Um, even though sixth grade was having their orientation the next day, sixth graders were still able to come in and also come to the orientation, which we had an excellent turnout for as well. Um, today, our, we had 150 students go to a field trip on the Canfield Fairgrounds. It was our trade expo put on by our MCESC. It was paid for by them, so it was free for us. And they participated with over 4,000 students from around the area to kind of bring awareness to some of the career paths that they have that are within the area, so try to keep the, some of these kids local. Um, our volleyball, uh, fall athletics, volleyball, football are well underway. Our eighth grade boys are in the middle of a undefeated season, so good luck to them. Hopefully they pull that one out. Um, students at the middle school have received brand new Chromebooks, so they've had old Chromebooks for about four, four to five years. This year they got brand new ones, so we're excited to have that. Some upcoming events at the school, a couple reminders. No school on October the 11th. Uh, the teachers will be there, but there will be no students. Uh, our fundraiser is going on until Monday. So anyone that has a middle schooler, continue to encourage them to sell items to help raise money for our school. We use that money that goes right back to the students. Our web tailgate, annual web tailgate, which is our mentors for the sixth graders. Um, we are going to hold that on Monday. And after the tailgate, the kids are going to walk to the gymnasium where we have the Volley for the Cure volleyball game where the red and the blue teams will play against each other. So hopefully we'll have a good turnout for that. And then tomorrow is picture day for the middle school. And from Fitch High School, uh, Mr. Kelty. Good evening, board. 
Good evening, Mr. Karlovic. Good evening, Mr. Capazello. Big thanks to our staff and students and families for an excellent smooth start to the 2019-2020 school year at Fitch High School. I want to thank Mr. Ubisak, Ms. Sali, Mr. Reed for training and successfully running our Link Crew Freshman Orientation. Congratulations to all of our fall athletes along with our marching band students who are off to a great season. Keep in mind everyone, these students started their season long before the official start of the school year. Families, uh, the Ohio Department of Education state testing reports are being distributed by the counselors this week, so please be aware of that. Uh, interim reports are input tomorrow, which means we're halfway through the first nine weeks of school. Homecoming game is October 4th. Our dance is October 5th. Ticket sales have been doing great, so we appreciate it. Hope to see everyone tomorrow. Go Falcons. Be Benedictine. Thank you. Item 7 for department reports. Uh, Mr. Boston, specific to grounds and facilities. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Um, I just wanted to give a brief summary of um, some of the jobs the maintenance crew uh, has been working on. Um, you know, in the recent passing, um, the landscaping around the whole district has received some much needed attention. Um, AMS parking lot, uh, the cracks have been filled, the parking lot's sealed and restriped. Um, number four concession stand at the football stadium has a new roof now, new steel roof. Football stadium blacktop has been sealed. Uh, the maintenance team's cleaned up around the campus, uh, washed the marquee signs, um, took down you know, some broken guardrail, cleaned up some dead trees, on uh, numerous other small jobs. Uh, some parking lot uh, striping has been done at Fitch High School and along the football stadium. Um, we have, <clears throat> we've been working with numerous vendors now um, since I've came in, and we're trying to get the best pricing we can for supplies working forward. Um, staff uh, for the food services and uh, special education departments have all been moved over from AELC now to uh, on campus. Um, we put a new sidewalk in at AIS to help with parent pickup. Um, we're in the process of getting a rat control system installed for the football field, the baseball field, and the, uh, the gymnasium. That control will let us do off-site um, light controls for those events, so um, minimize some of our, our stuff for our staff having to come back out to control some of that stuff. Um, there were some repairs done at the fitness center for the showers, um, some carpet scrubbing done in the high school media center. Um, New steel siding has been installed on the Hope classroom trailer. Cleaned that up a little bit. Um, I also want to thank uh, Mrs. Polish and Mrs. Brown for the efforts they put in working with me to get our staff in place, um, getting all the, building all the jobs filled so we can uh, transition well here. Um, I also wanted to thank our custodial staff and our sweeper cleaners for all the work they put in leading up to the start of the school year. Um, they did a great job getting the buildings clean and ready for the new year. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. <clears throat> On to item number eight. Upon the recommendation of the treasurer, approve the agenda for the September 26, 2019 Board of Education and regular September session. Second. Second. Take the vote. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Um, for the public comment segment one, for a specific agenda item, nobody has signed up for the first area of comments. Number 10, upon the recommendation of the treasurer, approve the following items, A through G, by consent action. Second. Take the vote. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 11. Upon the recommendation of the treasurer, approve the resolution authorizing the execution and delivery of a master electric energy sales agreement between the Austin Town Board of Education of the Austin Local School District 
in Power 4 Schools, P4S Endorsed Electric Supplier, NG Resources, LLC. Second. Take the vote. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Item 12, upon the recommendation of the treasurer, approve the settlement and direct payment agreement between the Board of Education of the Austin Local Schools and National Retail Properties Limited Partnership for the purpose of resolving the tax complaint for National Retail Properties. Second. Take the vote. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 13, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the following personnel items, A through C, by consent action. Second. Take the vote. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 14, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the 2019-20 standing orders for the PRN medication administration in our school clinics as approved by the Steward Health Medical Director. Second. Take the vote. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 15. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the bus routes as prepared by the transportation supervisor for the 2019-20 school year. Second. Take the vote. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Item 16. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, Approve the auction of the following fitness center equipment. Second. Take a vote. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Item 17. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve professional development membership and Ohio Association of Secondary School Administrators for the following Fitch Administrators. Second. Take the vote. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the MOU by and between the Austin Town Board of Education in the Austin Town, Ohio Association of Public School Employees, whereas the board feels the need for a qualified maintenance grounds position, and whereas the board and OPC both agree that it is in the best interest of the school to waive Article 13L3G in order to bring in a qualified person to fill the position. Take the vote. Mrs. Krampaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter, yes. Dr. Ritchie, yes. Mr. Sherwood. Yes. <clears throat> Item 19, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the MOU by and between the Austin Board of Education and the Austin, Ohio, Association of Public School Employees, whereas certain bus drivers will be permitted to serve as substitute bus aides when the need arises for additional bus aides during the duration of the OPC negotiated agreement, effective July 1, 19 to June 30, 21. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Going on to item 20. Mm -hmm. Back page. <clears throat> Approve the agreement between the District Energy 
Business Marketing LLC, Direct Energy Business, and the Austin Board of Education of the Austin Local Schools for purchase of natural gas at the fixed price of 2.596. I'm not sure what that is. I don't do much. Uh, <laughs> effective October 1st, 2019 to September 30, 2020. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Mrs. Krimpaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Item 21, approve the agreement to the hospital services agreement by and between SBC Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio Outpatient Services, LLC, and the Austin Local School District Board of Education, effective 926-19, whereas hospital and recipient desire to amend the agreement with regard to un updated pricing services and whereas the expiration date of the agreement is extended for the additional year until July 31st, 2020 to cover the provision of services during the 2019-20 school year, August 1st, 2019 to July 31st, 2020. So moved. Second. Take the vote. Mr. Sherwood. Yes. Dr. Ritchie. Yes. Mrs. Krimpaski. Yes. Mrs. Mock. Yes. Mr. Porter. One person signed up for the uh, public speaking. Part two, uh, Mr. James Scope. Good evening. Um, my name is James Scope. I'm a former Marine. I'm a father. I'm a pastor now, and um, <clears throat> I'm up here talking to you fine gentlemen and ladies about the security of Lynn Kirk. Um, I give hats off to all you board members and all staff and all teachers. Um, I'm from Austin Town. I'm the veteran that got the Habitat House. I'm the veteran that stood in front of Watson Elementary School after the Sandy Hook shootings. I stood there and <clears throat> I volunteered my time, just like I volunteered my time at Lynn Kirk for three days. I love Austin Town. I love what you guys have done with the campus, with the educational service. God bless each one of you. My kids go here, all three of them, from Madison from Fitch High School to Danica from AMS. Uh, from Ezekiel, uh, my youngest, is four years old, and he goes to Lynn Kirk. We have a situation at Lynn Kirk that I, I need to address. Um, <clears throat> The first day was the 28th of August, and I think some of the staff knows who I am and what I stand for. Um, driving my son to school, I dropped him off, and I seen a young man with a backpack come up to the door, trying to shake the door, trying to get into the door. I couldn't, I couldn't put up with that. He worked his way down the building, trying to get into the windows. I was like, no. I pulled my truck up. I was like, can I help you with something? He was like, I'm trying to get into the school. I was like, no, you're not. So I got out and I talked to this young gentleman. Finding out the first day of my son's school, unlimited classroom is sharing the same school as toddlers, as preschoolers. There's nothing separating. Everybody knows unlimited classroom, right? These kids come from Cleveland, Mahoney County, Trumbull County. They are kids that couldn't handle the school environment forever what their case was. They're trying to get their lives back on, on track, and I, I applaud them for it. So they're not the best students. Lynn Kirk, if you ever go into Lynn Kirk, there's no wall separating the preschoolers, the toddlers, which are autistic, disabled, and healthy. And these teachers have full classrooms. There's no security whatsoever protecting these young children. So what I did as a Marine is I went up to the superintendent, Dave. God bless you, Dave. I got my background check, went out that same day, paid for it myself, just like I did at Watson Elementary School, and I stood up there. I sat at a desk, and I buzzed people through watching security. Watson Elementary School had a rating of C-minus. 
Lynn Kirk has a rating of a D minus of the security that we have up there. There's cameras up there that hasn't worked in six years. They have a door that sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. But here's the problem that I have, is they share the same hallways as these teens, these troubled teens, and there's 134 of them. Sometimes they come in, 10, sometimes 20. Parents come in to sign these uh, kids in. And uh, <clears throat> there's nothing protecting our toddlers, our preschoolers. And I'm here to inform the board, um, especially my friends that gave me this information to start with the school board. And uh, here I am starting with the school board, and I'm seeing what you guys are going to do about the situation. I'm going to go talk to the superintendent tomorrow morning. Me and him talked already. And we're going to discuss a few things that we need to do. But until that school leaves that school, or if you build a wall or, or whatever, we have to have an armed police officer up there at all times, at least during when the toddlers are there. After they leave, let these high schoolers, dropouts, or, or whatever they are, these kids that are trying to get their lives organized, come into the school and let them do their classrooms or whatever. But you need security up there, and that's why I'm here. I've talked to many of my friends, Mr. Yost, Attorney General. I talked to Joe Schiavone, uh, State Senator, was a State Senator. I've talked to Tim Ryan. I've talked to many people, and I'm very blessed to have so many friends. But I hear, I'm here, and I'm starting with my, my town, my Austin town that I love, and I love my child more. Please help me secure Lynn Kirk and, and move forward on this. I love the security that they here, had here. I mean, I was part of the security team for this campus, for these different schools, and uh, I love it. I love that there's police officers, eight police officers on campus. Love it. I love that there's no fights for six weeks at Fitch High School. Good job there, Principal. I care about Austin Town. What can I do to help you guys protect our children? That's all I have. Okay, which should be item number 22. The next board meeting will be Thursday, October 17th, here at the middle school at 6 p.m. Mrs. Mock? Yes. <clears throat> Mrs. Krimpaski? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. Motion to adjourn. Second. Take the vote. Mrs. Krimpaski? Yes. Mrs. Mock? Yes. Mr. Porter? Yes. Dr. Ritchie? Yes. Mr. Sherwood? Yes. In association with Austin Town Local Schools and Austin Town Township.